Danielle. Oh, thank you, Daniel, for remembering that. Thank you, thank you. I got to meet her at a Wisdom Builder retreat. And Danielle is an executive manager in the Will Wisdom Builder team. She's sponsored by Joel and Gabby Merritt, who are absolutely wonderful people. Um, she has a phenomenal story. I mean, phenomenal, uh, radical improvement in her life due to Neil life. She's a very fine, excellent, genuine, tremendous person. So you guys, let's give a warm welcome to executive manager, Danielle Taggart. Good morning. <laughs> Thank Can you. Can you all hear me okay? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, very good. Thank you, Danielle. Wonderful. Uh, I'm already so blessed this morning to get to join you all and to hear your wins. Um, it's encouraging to me. Um, I am so thankful to have a story and to serve a God who writes the best stories and who can redeem even stories filled with pain and brokenness and turn them into something that brings him glory. And that is my story with Neolife. I am um, wife to my husband of 15 years. I have two boys, um, Jaden and Owen, who are going to be 12 and seven next month. And um, I homeschool them. We are um, in Indiana and we're in the process of renovating a 100 year old farmhouse together as a family. And we just love doing that type of thing. Um, we also, um, we do like a, a mini, we only have about an acre. So we do a little bit of some mini homesteading stuff, um, growing our own food and stuff. And we just really enjoy that. Um, my interest, well, and I will say, um, you can find me, um, I, I like to highlight, I'm a, a creative, so you can find me if you're interested on Instagram at Danny, the first, uh, D-A-N-I-E, uh, Joy Heart and Home, um, if you're interested in following along with my health story more and what we do. So, um, my interest in health started, um, at the end of high school. I had always um, found nutrition and exercise and health extremely interesting, and I thought the direction I would go was going to be nursing, and I looked into nursing school, I was very interested in it, and then um, God brought my husband into the picture very early in my life, and we decided not to start our marriage off with um, the debt of nursing school. And I decided to go the direction of, I started a small business doing um, wedding cakes, and um, I started school for, to become a personal trainer, which I completed and um, was very close to jumping into the field when I had a positive pregnancy test. <laughs> and so that changed everything. Um, my oldest son, Jane, was born, and um, I, I realized really early that there was something going on with my health. Um, I had, I didn't have the energy that people my age, which at that point I would have been 21, had. Um, the pregnancy was extremely challenging and um, everybody kept telling me I was just going to bounce back. It was just a difficult pregnancy and um, I didn't. Uh, my health actually declined after giving birth to him and I started um, on a roller coaster for about two and a half years. Uh, some of the things I experienced it were um, extreme chronic fatigue and I'm talking the kind of fatigue that would put me on the couch I would function pretty well through the morning to take care of my son as a stay-at-home mom I would end up on the couch unable to move during his nap time I, I couldn't function sometimes that would be almost like the whole day um, I would have migraine he headaches um, that, that were just debilitating um, I had chronic insomnia um, it had gotten to the point where I was only getting a couple hours of sleep a night. Um, I had hormone imbalance really badly. Um, I had gotten to the point where my immune system wasn't functioning. Uh, I could, I, I could catch anything and it would last forever. I wouldn't be able to get over it. Um, even things like seasonal allergies would land me in bed, um, unable to function. I had heart palpitations. Um, I got to the point where um, my anxiety and depression because of all of the different things that were going on with my health were so bad that I couldn't even hardly do gatherings or get together with family and enjoy it. I had panic attacks many times. Um, I had brain fog <laughs> to the point where it's just really hard to function. My brain did not work. Um, inflammation, everything kind of revolved around chronic pain inflammation and um, 
I also had lost a lot of weight. I could not put weight on for the life of me. And with my background in nutrition and personal training, it, I was doing all the right things, but could not get weight back on. I was um, at one point 20 pounds below the lowest ideal body weight that I should have been for my height. And um, so this uh, spiral, it was a down, it was just a downward spiral because um, I would go to doctors, I would go, they'd run tests, they would do things and they would say, we can't find anything wrong with you, which was even worse for my anxiety and depression. <laughs> so uh, fast forward two and a half years from when I had my son, I finally, my midwife, um, I did a follow-up just for a regular physical and she told me that she felt like um, a lot of the things were pointing to thyroid and that she wanted me to have a scan. The scan um, showed a nodule. I had a biopsy on that and they kept assuring me that it was not going to be anything, but which was both concerning and encouraging, concerning because if it was nothing, then all of the health problems I was having were still without a cause <laughs> um, and encouraging because, well, it was probably nothing. And the biopsy actually came back that I had a cancer. I had thyroid cancer. And um, they told me it was a good kind of cancer to have. Um, it wasn't going to take my life anytime soon or anything, but I was going to need a, I was going to need a thyroidectomy, a complete thyroidectomy. And that by removing my thyroid, this, this like downward spiral of health problems was going to end. And I was so excited. Um, we had the surgery. Um, it was quite a recovery process from surgery because of how low my um, immunity and my uh, energy and my body's capacity was. And um, finally came out the other side. And I had so much hope because for two and a half years, there were no answers. Now we had an answer. We had taken care of the problem. I was just ready to get on with functioning again. So um, what ended up happening was, yes, the downward spiral did, like, it, it stopped. I wasn't spiraling and everything getting worse, but now I was on a new carnival, right? And that was a roller coaster because I was always either coming into some kind of health crisis or going out of it. I would kind of peek out and feel good for a little while only to crash and burn into another random health issue and it was horrible and this was a six year process um where i just felt like am i ever going to have hope again like am i ever going to function so um i um check my notes here make sure i'm not missing anything i tried everything i had gone to doctors nat naturopaths chiropractors um taken all kinds of supplements and i was dieting like a pretty much as perfectly as someone could um, just to, to stay functional. Um, and I, it, was, it was exhausting. Um, mommy with a chronic illness is really, really difficult. Um, it was horrible to uh, watch my kids grow up. I ended up having my second, second pregnancy during this time. And they, were, they said, well, because, you know, you you don't have cancer this time around, it's probably going to be easier. It was, it was even worse. I was, it was horrible. Um, I had always breastfed my children and with my second, uh, or I'd breastfed my first and I would have had made it six months. And with my second, um, they told me I had to stop when he was not even three months old because my body, the words of my doctor was, your body is unable to support any, anything more than you. It's struggling just to keep up keeping you healthy. So that was just tragic because I felt like in every area of my life, I was failing. My health was failing. I, was, I felt like I was failing as a mother. My husband was working um, and he had to accept a position where he was traveling to make enough money to cover the expenses that um, all of my health issues had incurred and eating the diet that I needed to eat and taking the supplements that I needed to eat. And it was just a really dark, very hard time. Um, I finally, uh, what it would have been three years ago, worked up the courage to address with my endocrinologist one of the issues that I was having that I felt like was just to the point where I, it was it was creating a lot of um, function issues for me. And that was brain fog. Um, I, I didn't want to be put on depression and anxiety medication. I did not let anyone know how bad the, that was. Um, but I felt like if I could get past the brain fog because I was homeschooling, that maybe life 
I could at least somewhat function a little bit better. So I broached the subject um, with this endocrinologist. I, I, he's been my doctor for many years. I really respect him and his stand in the field. But his response to me was that I no longer had cancer. My blood work was finally in a really good place after my thyroidectomy. Um, my weight was what a lot of his patients wanted, you know, the range that they wanted their patients to be at. And he would go as far as to say I was an ideal patient and that I was the picture of health. <laughs> I know his heart. I know that he meant to encourage me, but I feel like if he had punched me in the face, it would have probably felt better <laughs> because I have been striving for now, um, like eight years to get to a point where I was feeling good, where I could function, where I could mom, where I could be considered healthy. And I was there and I was miserable. And I just, um, I don't even remember like checking out of the doctor's office or, um, go ahead, Rhonda, thank you. Sorry, my kiddo interrupted. I don't remember checking out of the doctor's office. I don't really remember much. I remember merging onto the interstate. It's a 40 minute drive and I bawled the whole way home because I, I had arrived. I was healthy. And, not, and I couldn't function. I couldn't do life. There was no answer. So the next two weeks looked like a lot of heart to heart conversations with my husband. What does life look like now? Like, if this is it, if I've done all that I can do, the doctors have no answers for me. I'm healthy as I'm going to get post cancer. It, we're, we're like, okay, maybe I can't homeschool. Maybe all of our hopes and dreams and visions of the life we wanted to live with our children. Are not an option and it often happens when you have those hard conversations when you've had depression and anxiety i woke up um two weeks after um my appointment to a full-blown panic attack in the very middle of the night my heart was pounding out of my chest i was gasping for breath i um every like the walls were closing in around me and i did what i had always did to overcome panic attacks I began reciting scripture I began praying and crying out to the Lord asking him to give me peace of heart and mind and um I I remember praying and saying God I trust you I believe that you know what you're doing with my life I believe you have a plan for me but please give me an answer like show me like if this is what life looks like I'm going to surrender that to you but I didn't have peace that that was what he was saying to me, that this was it. I, I hadn't come to terms with that this was life from, from now on. I remember very distinctively a verse, the verse coming to mind that he knew the plans he had for me, that he wasn't done with me, and that he started the work in my life, and he was going to be faithful to complete it. And so I, I remember falling asleep into a peaceful slumber after that, just knowing that he wasn't done that he was going to give me the answers and I just asked him to lead me and um, the next morning I woke up and I had a very confident piece that I was supposed to talk to Gabby Merritt. Her and Joel lead our discipleship group um, at church and have been an absolute blessing to me. She um, was very faithful in sharing me a life that had really walked in the spirit with me knowing that I had had such a background in health and she she shared information but never like approached me as a prospect. Um, so I knew what she was doing was working. Her health was amazing. Her family's health was amazing. And from the conversations that we had, we had very similar criteria for nutrition and supplements. So I was, I was very intrigued. And I called her and I said, Gabby, here's what's happened. Here's where I'm at. What does Neo Life have to offer me? I, I'm I like, I don't, I'm at, I'm at the end. I might as well look into it. So she sent me several links. Um, one of the stories she sent me was um, Nicole Blaine's story. Um, very similar, similar story. And I had, I had used um, direct sales supplements before. I was familiar with stories. I was familiar. But what sold me on your life was the science. That sold me because for the first time, the products and the nutrition that was being sold had scientific backing as to why it worked. 
So I talked to my husband and um, we decided we wanted to give it a try. But financially, we were really at a point where we were so tight because of everything that had happened. Um, I knew that we didn't have a lot to play with. So I prayerfully decided to t start and to take what I could do for three to six months faithfully. I knew that it was going to take a while for whatever I started to use to work. And I didn't want to commit to and start something that we couldn't afford for me to continue on. So I ordered one thing, and that was Pro Vitality. And I started taking it. I started taking it every single day, and I decided I was going to forget that I was taking it. <laughs> and I was going to do it faithfully for three to six months. And I did just that. I, pretty much, I, I put it in my mouth every day. I took it very faithfully. I didn't miss the day. The order would show up in the mail. And um, so almost three months later, to the, the day of starting, um, I overcommitted. Now, to this point, life and my abilities and my commitments and my schedule could look like three things. I could go to church. I could go to the grocery for my family. And I could do one other thing a week. Sometimes not even the one other thing because um, my energy just, it wasn't there. And I had to be able to take care of young children who had needs. So I could overcommitted. Um, my baby sister was graduating from high school and because of my background in um, weddings and events, she asked me to help plan and organize it. I was thrilled to get to help in this way. So it, it takes me a long time to be able to, to plan it in a way that um, I, my energy would support that. And that week, we also had family come in from out of town for the graduation. There were several gatherings. Um, we ended up hosting a cookout at our house. Um, and then that day was a Sunday, so we went to church in the morning. I came home. We set up the graduation at their church. Um, I acted as host, helped clean up, tear down, brought the, the um, decorations and everything home to our house. I put them all away in our basement. I um, came back up stairs, made dinner, and then went out on the front porch with my husband and sat down. And I will, as long as I live, remember him looking over at me and saying, who are you? What are you taking? And where is my wife? And I had one of those light bulb moments. This male life is working. I mean, three months and I've never in the last eight, 10 years been able to do what I just did. And I cannot tell you how excited I was because that was just the beginning of what was going to happen in my health. Because from that point on, my health only got better. Um, I was able to share the product, get my pro vitality for free, which meant I got to start taking other things to the point where I now take the breakfast pack I take Super B, I take Extra Salmon Oil Plus, I take um, half a Fido Defense Pack a day, and other things as their needs. And um, I'm back to, I'm not back to, I never was, uh, I'm a fun mom. I get to, this, this last weekend, I biked 10 miles with my kids here in town. We had an amazing time. Um, I am growing a lot of our family food last year. I put up over 280 quarts of food in our basement. Um, I'm living the life that I always envisioned and dreamed and prayed and hoped would be a possibility with my boys and my husband. And it's all because of getting nutrition on the cellular level. Trianin, I can contribute. I mean, the, all the products are amazing, but Trianin was the missing link for me because my body, I was putting in quality nutrition. I was eating all the right things, but my cells were not getting it. And um, seeing that nutrient and its change on my life, I'm just so grateful and I, I can't help but share it. And that's exactly what happened. Um, after I got my health back, people took note. If you, if you have a friend who's living life from the couch and isn't functional and is always saying no, to stuff because they can't function you know it's something's working so um my mom is a two-time breast cancer survivor and her second bout with breast cancer was one year before my diagnosis 
And um, our stories are actually very similar. The energy issues, um, the chronic fatigue, the um, inability to function in life. Um, and once she saw what happened to me, she started to see me function. She started to see me with a bounce in my step. She started to see me being able to say yes to things. She's like, okay, I wanna know what you're doing. She had, had her cancer treatment uh, through Cancer Treatment Centers of America who combine not only traditional medicine, but they, they do nutrition, um, naturopaths, um, all kinds of support as well. So she had access to all the things that most people do not. And she was still having the same issues. So I shared with her exactly what I was thinking. She started taking the pro vitality. Same story, actually to the point where she, she, she told me in tears one time, I don't get to be the grandma I want to be. I've always dreamed of being a grandma. And now I'm a grandma and I am so tired. I don't even enjoy getting to see my grandkids. That all changed. When we travel now and my husband and I are out of town for Neo Life events, my mom watches my two busy boys and they have an absolute blast and they keep up with her. And I kind of got a little bit ahead of myself because my mom was, str was str struggling with chronic fatigue, but she also had nerve damage from the radiation. And um, she also had inflammation, uh, respiratory issues from the, uh, the radiation and the damage it caused, and also had any dysfunction. And so through her using Pro Vitality, um, extra treonine and the phyto defense as well, along with Super B, um, she now is not struggling with any of those issues. So that's story number two. Um, same story. Trianin made it possible for her body to heal because, I mean, we're talking her first um, bout with cancer and her second were like five years apart. And so um, she, had not, she had not thrived. She had not recovered. She was in a state of limbo and chronic illness. Um, and uh, same type of situation of the roller coaster. Um, trying to keep track of my time here so that I don't go over. The last story I'm going to tell you, I have so many more, and if you ever want to reach out and ask for those, I'm going to tell you my husband's story because um, he sacrificed so much for our family and for me. Um, he is my biggest blessing from the Lord because he, in my darkest moment, was so faithful to me. He was there. He supported me. And guys, I don't, I don't know if you've ever been around someone who has anxiety and depression to the point where they're unrecognizable and that was me. I was not me. And I, I will never forget the night where he sat across the table from me and he said, I love you and I will be here for you for the rest of my life, but I miss my wife. And that was me, that was where I was. And he sacrificed everything he was traveling for work four days a week and what he was having to eat out. He wasn't getting to eat as healthy as he needed to. And what that did for him is it totally wrecked his digestive system. He was having symptoms of IBS and leaky gut. Um, he got to the point where he could eat zero dairy without it causing him extreme pain and repercussions for days. There were several times he had to call in to work because he was actually you know, vomiting and just it was horrible. So we removed all dairy from his diet. Um, of course, I had done all the research. I had him on a bunch of supplements. He wanted to go to the doctor. They ended up doing a scope that all they said was take some antacids, um, here's some anti-nausea for those mornings where you don't feel like you can go into work. Um, don't, don't eat dairy, be careful. And um, I, that was not okay with me. We did not, I threw away the antacids. Um, I put him on um, several different products, but yeah, they kind of like helped a little bit, but we got to the point where we we're actually going to be removing gluten as well, because he, even though he wasn't eating dairy, um, he was still having, we couldn't pinpoint what the problem was. So we're like, okay, well, the next step is always remove gluten, right? So um, that's when my health transformation happened. And I found out, okay, Neolife has digestive supplements. We're putting you on them. So he was doing pro-vitality as well at this point because I'd been able to earn enough to get him on the pro-vitality. Um, and so we put him on the Bay Design. And again, it was one of those things where we couldn't really afford for him to do like the entire packet like he was supposed to. So he did half a packet in the morning and half at night. 
<laughs> if you've ever had digestive issues, you know that like it's a really scary deal. It's not something you want to live through. It's a miserable. And so it took him a good three to six months to feel like he was able to actually try some of the things that would have triggered health um, problems or the, like the bad responses. But finally, three to six months later, he started to slowly dip his toe into the dairy pool again. And you know, he has zero dairy sensitivities now or in, and no digestive issues at all. And he's at the point where he only takes one um, enzyme and one beta digest in the evening. Uh, unless of course we eat out or something and then he'll do an additional one of each. But um, that, praise the Lord, because we, I was having him uh, bake and cook a completely different menu for him in order for him to be able to eat and be comfortable. So um, we are so blessed. We have products that work, that are scientifically proven. We have gold in training. And so I want to encourage you when you're dealing with people with chronic illness, who have been sick for a really, really long time. It can be overwhelming because a lot of times there are so many symptoms. I mean, if you were to sit down and look at my list of symptoms and then all the products that would have helped each of those one in, you know, individual symptoms, it would have been overwhelming. But because Gabby pointed me to the basics, she really encouraged me to do the breakfast pack. It wasn't something that I could do at that point. But because I started with the basics and I got myself to the point where they could uptake the nutrition that I was giving it, it one, made me a believer in the product. And two, it jump-started everything else that I was able to later add in and made my body ready to accept it. So praise the Lord. He knows what he's doing. He's designed our bodies to heal. We just have to give them what they need to heal. So thank you, Bob, for this opportunity. Thank you for sharing that incredible story, Danielle. And you guys, you look at Danielle's life, um, just uh, such a wreckage and inability to function. And then now it's, you know, uh, no energy, low immunity. Now she can function beautifully, has high energy. It's obvious just talking to her, is high, the energy is very high. And then look how that changed her boy's life, her husband's life, her mom's life. And she has been as high as executive manager. So that means she's changing other lives in her team as well. So I have a question. And then you guys, uh, Danielle, is it okay if they ask you a few questions too, if they want to? Okay, so um, Danielle, my question is, what are the three most important products uh, if they have uh, dairy sensitivity? What would you say on that? Or three or four, what are the most, or is it just one or two that? Absolutely, I mean, I, I always want people on their Pro Vitality, um, just because, again, you're getting that trained and your, your bases are covered. Sometimes um, sensitivities are just a result of not getting what your body needs to be able to assimilate nutrition. Um, and then absolutely hands down, betazyme is really important. Um, and then recently we just added in aloe and we love that. My husband loves that. Um, and we had like a little stomach thing go through the house for, with one of my sons. And um, the only thing that really helped him was being able to take the aloe. So for sure, those, those three products. Why do you like the aloe so well? Uh, he wasn't, um, my son was not able to really hold anything down and um, had a little bit of a fever with what he was dealing with. And it, as soon as I, he was able to ingest the aloe, his stomach started feeling better and his um, fever dramatically reduced. So that was, made me a believer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Well, thank you. Who else might have a question? Because Danielle, would you say your main things was the immunity was low, energy was just like at zero, right? Um, and uh, well, you said the brain fog was strong too. Um, and you know, after three months and your husband said, who are you, uh, uh, ha at that point, were you only on pro vitality or were you on several things at that point? No, I had only been on pro vitality, um, wow. to that point. So for sure. Um, yeah. And like I said, it got better when you have been chronically ill for a decade, almost. Um, you get to the point where you do not know how sick you are, how bad you feel, or what good even feels like. 
you might have a day that for somebody else would be considered like the worst day ever. And you feel like, oh, wow, today is like a fairly decent day. So getting to the point where, I mean, it was like reaching new peaks um, month after month as I added in each product. I remember when I added in the Super B, it just be like, oh my gosh, I thought it was good. And now <laughs> this is a whole nother level to be able to wake up without an alarm, you know, I, for years because of insomnia, waking up every single morning and being like, if I could just stay in bed all day, it would be amazing. And waking up now, every single morning without an alarm and just being like, I am ready for the day. What do you got for me? So. Completely changed. How much meaning did you add in? Just one or two? I think two, sometimes three a day, depending on where I'm at with the bean. Okay, wow, wow. And um, so your life changed just with Pro Vitality. Yeah. Wow. And then, um, uh, what would your four most or five most significant products be in, for you, would you say? For sure. Um, everything in the Pro Vitality. I love the shake. I am not a breakfast person at all. And I love that it's that simple um, as just taking a shake. So I guess that's five. But if I get, um, if I get a bonus one, um, for sure, Pro Vitality, or Vitality, because um, I just started adding that in maybe August or September of this last year. And um, again, it was one of those things like, oh, wow, you know, I thought I was doing amazing, but having this really changed, especially over like cold and flu season. There were times that um, my kiddos would get just like, because they take their products, they don't get sick very often, but they'd get like a sniffle or something. And I would just breathe right past it. And for somebody who caught every single thing and would have it for three to four weeks, <laughs> that is a huge miracle. Okay, so that pulled your immunity higher. So now you're not catching stuff all the time. And Which, I mean, has been a steady, like, uh, my immune system has just grown over the past three years of using the product. So, um, but for sure, you know, I just wanted, um, because of the family history, we have three generations who have had cancer. I'm the third. Um, I just really wanted to make sure that my bases were covered with the phytodestin. So. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Wow, that's something. Um, and then what are your kids on, if I can ask? My kids are on, of course, the, um, the Vita Squares, um, the Vita Guard, um, all C, and then my son has ADHD, so he takes um, a mind enhancement, um, and they both were working on them being more faithful on taking their salmon oil. <laughs> But they, that's the one that they don't prefer to swallow. So um, we have to really be on them for that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, but the mind enhancement? And of course, it depends on, like, you know, if we, we know we've been exposed to something or, um, you know, we'll do garlic or, you know, other things as needed. Okay. Okay. Do, do they use the shake much or is that mainly you or? They love the shake. Um, we're still at the point where I'm trying to get to um, weight loss packs. So once once we get that, they will not have it. But yeah, so they will have no problem taking that daily. But okay, okay. kind of as needed on that. Okay. Yeah. okay, well, does anybody else have a question we want to ask Danielle? Because I mean, her life is just, I mean, Danielle, it's not an exaggeration to say it's an entirely new life, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because before I, like I said, just keeping up with being a mom was it. And now, I mean, I'm, I'm in here helping my, my husband rip down walls and put up drywall, and we actually gutted, and I kind of forgot that part of the story, but we did gut and rebuild a travel trailer, and we travel now through the summers. Um, on the weekends, we go camp and ride bike and hike, and that was not an option. <laughs> I, if I was outside with my kids, I was sitting in the lawn chair. If we went somewhere, where's the closest place for me to sit down? That was life. Wow completely changed well who else has a question or two for danielle because i mean this is a, a phenomenal example of changing a whole family actually anybody else have a question okay well danielle thank you for coming and sharing it's just very inspiring tremendous thank you so much my pleasure thanks so much for the opportunity Absolutely.
Okay, you guys. Well, Daniel, can I share? Can you share my screen, Daniel? Um, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, can you guys see these slides? Can 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 you see these slides, Daniel? No, not yet. No, not yet. Okay. Um, you think I need to do something different, or because I have them, they're on my screen now. Uh, did you choose share screen in Zoom? Um, no. So should I get out of the slides and then do that? Yeah, uh, I just can, do I just, uh, okay, share I screen and Zoom, and then you can go back to the slides. Okay. Um, uh, boy, I don't know if they're. Um, oh boy. Um, so you can see. Yep, Louis. I can see your screen now. Okay, yeah, and you see Louie, right? Yep. Okay. Um, can you see my slides now? Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, you guys, what I want to show you is um, it's really, really critical that we show people what makes us different. If we don't show them what makes us different, I don't think our odds are near as good of retaining them. So um, these are, has everyone heard of GNC? They're a huge company. They're all over the world. I've seen them in um, Malaysia. I've seen them in Singapore. I've seen them in Africa. I think I might have seen them even in China. So they, these guys are massive. And they're right here in my city at our mall. They're there. And this company was sued by the state of Oregon for knowingly selling potentially unsafe drugs in their natural vitamins, okay? So um, that's a bit shocking. And I was told that the Oregon Attorney General came down on them pretty heavy because from their internal documents, it appeared that they were aware that they had drugs in their supposedly natural vitamins. Can you believe that? So, um, what Louis tells people over and over and over and over and Bob, you're muted. I'm muted. Oh my goodness. Um, not now. I could hear you. You can hear me now. Can yes. Can you hear me too, Daniel and uh, everyone else? Can, can yeah, you? I just cut out for a minute. Oh, just for a minute. Okay. So um, thank you, Mary. Thank you very much. Um, so Louis said, it's very critical that you buy only nutrition products from a company who manufactures under a pharmaceutical uh, standard, which we are, you guys. We're not required to be because we're a, a food product. But it appears that if uh, vitamins are not um, manufactured under a pharmaceutical label like us, th they have no obligation to have anything in that product that it says on their label. So I'm going to skip forward actually to right here. This is from Bloomberg News. I think most people have heard of them. And it says tests show no evidence of aloe vera in some aloe vera gels. No evidence of aloe vera in some aloe vera gels. Is that insane? They're buying it because they want aloe vera and it's, it may not even be in their product. Look at this one. New York Attorney General targets mislabeled herbal supplements. Four major retailers, including Walmart, Target, GNC, and Walgreens are accused of selling mislabeled herbal supplements in New York. Tests by the State Attorney General's office found that some store brand supplements do not, I can't read it because of my bars in the way. Anyway, so uh, here's an example of, uh, look at this one. This is from Clean Label Project. New study of protein powders from Clean Label Project finds elevated levels of heavy metals 
which were like lead, mercury, cadmium, things of that nature, and BPA in 53 leading brands. That's from Clean Label Project. And um, the vegan ones were the worst. And there's one called Garden of Life, supposed to be really awesome. It was one of the worst for having contaminants in it. And you guys know in Neolife products, we test down to, to parts per million. And if there's one part per million, they will not use that ingredient. So um, <laughs> the reason they need to use Neolife is many reasons. One is we're organic, we're non-GMO, and we test for toxins. And I, I personally talked to Costco's laboratory because fish are notorious for contaminants. And um, so I, and Costco sells millions of dollars of fish oil. So I said to them, um, how many contaminants do you guys test for? And they said five. Well, Neolife tests for over 200. And our testing goes down to parts per million. Some things our, our equipment is so good, it goes parts per billion. <laughs> so you guys, the only thing, if they want safety, they better buy from a company like, like Neolife because we, I don't know if there's any others like us actually that are food, food companies like us that are voluntarily, because we're not required to be on a uh, pharmaceutical basis. So, but this is showing you right here's why you want to be on that. Then um, here's one, look at this from Consumer Reports. FDA finds hidden drugs in nearly 50 dietary supplements sold on Amazon, eBay. You guys, almost 50 vitamin supplements, people are taking them for their health. That's why they buy them. They're buying them on Amazon, eBay. This is validated by Consumer Reports that the FDA found hidden drugs in there. How insane is that? So you're not going to find that in New Life because since we're on a pharmaceutical license, that means what is on our label has to be in the product, unlike all these others we're showing you. And uh, not only are some of the vitamins being sold out there, they don't even have in them what it says on the label, but possibly maybe even worse, they got drugs in there in nearly 50 brands. So not only might they not even have what's on the label, but they may have harmful things in there that are not on the label. So, um, and I'll tell you a story about Louis. Um, when he came to the USA, he was in a meeting and he told people that the vitamins sold in the USA, 98% of them have turpentine, which is what they use for paint thinner. That happens to be made from flax, by the way. Flax is not in the human food chain, okay? It's what they make paint thinner out of. Turpentine is made from flax. And again, flax is not in the human food chain, okay? Um, so Louis said 98% of the vitamins sold in the United States have turpentine, or petroleum or metal shavings, which is how a lot of companies make zinc. They get um, a type of iron out of the ground and they take shavings off of it and they sell that as zinc. Well, in the keep in mind, Louis came over here from South Africa. He's doing this nutrition meeting. He says in front of everyone, 98% of the vitamins sold in the USA have turpentine, petroleum, or, or metal shavings in them. And there's a guy from LAPD, Los Angeles Police Department in the audience. I know him very well. His name's Charlie Strong. And he said, Louie, you cannot come here to America and tell lies. I'm gonna put a research team on this and we're gonna prove you wrong and you're going to jail. Well, Louie ran into Charlie about three or four days later and Charlie's research team had already done all the research. And he said, Louis, you're wrong. It's not 98% of the products sold here that have turpentine or petroleum or metal shavings. And Louis didn't, he didn't back up any. He wasn't threatened or intimidated at all. 
He said, what do you mean it's wrong? He held his ground. Charlie said, it's not 98%, it's 99%. Guys, get that? That's from LAPD. Charlie Strong. I know him well. He's a wonderful man. He's David and Marcy Williams. So a lot of you know David and Marcy Williams. He's David and Marcy's sponsor. <laughs> so he, he totally validated what Louis said, that it's... Um, it's uh, all these other companies they're selling, they're selling, a lot of them are selling trash. They don't even have in them. I think Barbara knows Charlie probably too. I think Barbara was at the first Hume, it was at the first Hume Lake Barbara came to and we had all the snow <laughs> up there and uh, Charlie was in that meeting. <laughs> so you guys, is that amazing? That's a, a Neo Life distinctive. You guys, we have that, almost no other companies have that were manufactured under pharmaceutical standards. So you guys, if you want those slides, email me, I'll send them all to you. Daniel actually was so nice. Daniel's the one that made those slides for us, you guys. And I might be able to get a few more, but um, one thing for retaining our business, we have to show our customers what makes us different than the other companies or oftentimes they'll go, the the jump ship and they go to something else so when we're making our presentation why they need the product i think this is really critical and you guys you guys have i think all of you have probably seen my vitamin e demonstration that shows how we compare it to five other brands and it shows that they have um tur turpentine five out of five that i showed and they're all well-known brands turpentine or petroleum so 